Hey everybody, Fwip here, and today is episode number 6 of our 1.16 survival series. I wanted to say thank you all so very much for the support so far on this series, and I really do appreciate everybody who's taken the time to click the like button on these videos. Last episode, we were able to spend a good amount of time building and getting some work done around the base and getting an enchanting setup done, and then after that, we got some pretty good enchanted tools in here with one, this guy right here, Efficiency 4, Silk Touch, Unbreaking 3, diamond pickaxe for ourselves which is absolutely amazing i've spent a bit of time mining and doing some more enchanting around here we're up to level 30 so we can do another one of those but first and foremost i want to stop in here a lot of people left some amazing ideas for the rule board so we've got all six of these rules over here now i think we talked about the first three already and then i think we did the no f3 coordinates to find areas so basically f3 coordinates are these guys right here we can't like go to somewhere and do f3 oh you know what screenshot gonna save this forever that's gonna be a great screenshot i'm gonna find a year from now every time that we die i'm going to retire the armor after each death put it on an armor stand inside of a great hall or something glitching out into the signs there and up on a stand there that's gonna start after we have a place to build it up i'm gonna start saving the iron armor after each death but we'll get them all set up later the last one which i thought was really cool is every single resource outpost or island or additional base that we build must have some sort of a vehicle so a boat or an airship or a train system that actually reconnects it all the way back to our city here then over here we've got all of these ones then bridges using the height in our builds we're going to do interiors with an asterisk and then i want everything inside of our base to be walkable to it obviously within reason of having some airships floating around up there or hot air balloons or whatever they might be i don't want to build weird walkways that go all over the place if we don't need to so we'll just leave it at that for now Quickly, before we get the episode started, I want to mention that I uh, I reworked the wheel back here or the propeller blade that we have after a few people reached out to me and said it looked like something that I didn't really want it to look like. So I did rework that one. Thank you for the comments from everybody who left those. It's something that I didn't even realize it was just it happened while building on a small scale. That being said, now that we are no longer trapped in the vines, I want to come down here and actually I don't have anything on me. Maybe let's just see what we can even roll on the diamond X. Fortune 2 on an X. I don't want that at all. But what we can do is I do have a Fortune 2 iron pickaxe over here and we can make another one. And then we have a Fortune 3 iron pickaxe. That sounds pretty good to me. Being bombarded by skeletons over here. They're trying to get me while I'm walking over to the enchanting room. Ooh, enchanted bow though. Power 2. We'll keep that. All right, what are we getting on this iron pickaxe over here? Oh, it's rolling Fortune 3. We're getting a diamond pickaxe. Just kidding. Back we go again. Someone had told me that all of the tools share the same enchanting table, so I thought it would share between the axe and the pickaxe, and obviously that's not the case. But I do know it shares between an iron pickaxe and a diamond pickaxe, which we have an unenchanted diamond right there. No, it doesn't. Fortune 2, Fortune 3. What? I'm so confused. Maybe it's the same level of diamonds across the board. I swear that was the other way before. Well, we're going to get a Fortune 3 iron pickaxe, and that is a... Man, do I wish that could have went on the diamond pickaxe. <laughs> well, it's something we can use for now. That's, that's fine. But we'll go ahead and leave the iron pickaxe and the old diamond one in there. And we've got that diamond one sitting off the side. We have 11 diamonds right there. And up here on the top, I did some mining on stream with our silk touch pickaxe. We got four more diamond ore. I would love to see how many more we can get today. Just a little bit of a mining session. Just a little bit of strip mine in action. Forgot to mention also on stream, we built up a cool custom tree back here and spent a little bit of time uh, transforming the entrance to the nether portal. Soul fire lanterns and the works around it. Oh, it looks so good. This is the type of the detail work I want to do around the base moving forward. It's really fun to just experiment with it for a little while. But with that one into the mines we go, I want to spend a good while here just mining away, seeing what I can find. We've done a lot of on-camera mining. So you know what, folks? If I find any diamonds, I'll be sure to let y'all know. We want to move up here to what is this? Y level 11. Let's go up to 12. And we're just going to head off this way. Well, we got our first cave system over here. Anything inside. We've got some iron and a uh, spooky underbutt. Okay. Oh, we got some diamonds down here. Woohoo! Thank God. I was getting a little worried here. We've been going for a long time. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven more diamond ore for ourselves. You know what? We are here. Hi, Underbutt. How you doing, buddy? Over here. Over here. Yep, this way. Yep, right down here. Right down here. Yeah, perfect. Aw, no underpearls. Oh, we got diamonds over here, too. Look at that. And it's right. Nope, not above lava. Oh, good day. Good day. Looks like only two more diamond ore, though. You know what? Two more is better for than none. Oh, I think I see some more diamonds up there. Check that out. Oh, we got four at least. And five more for us to there. 
Oh, we got some more diamond hidden under the iron. Oh, perfect. Is it only three? Aw, oh, bummer. You know what? Three's pretty solid, though. Oh, wait, there's more right over there. This has turned into an absolutely amazing little cave system. Well, we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and oh, we almost lost that one. Oh, look at that, more diamonds right there. Oh, this is such a good run. Being around lava here, I'm gonna be a little careful with these guys. It looks like there's only two, but we might get a four vein here. Looks like it, uh, you know, that's okay. We went about this far on the strip mine here into one tunnel, which gave all of this. The entire cave system, basically only been mining out here, 28 diamond ore, and look at the stacks upon stacks of everything else. We've got a pretty healthy supply of stone for ourselves, and look at all of these minerals we have over here. 32 diamond ore, that is absolutely insane. I'm so excited for that. Let me know in the comments below how many diamonds you think that's gonna get, and we'll break it in the next episode. Moving straight into the build project for today is I want to work on building some fishing docks and getting this area right here situated a little bit better. I have a really cool idea in mind. I don't know if it's going to work out, so I'm going to hold off on sharing it with y'all. But to get ourselves started, I'm going to throw a double chest over here where we can put whatever junk resources we need. We're going to be using a lot of dark oak, a lot of stone, maybe granite, maybe andesite, and I need a stone cutter down here to be able to break some things. Unfortunately, the sugar cane is going to have to go as we're making some docks that are going to go around this entire area here. Now, I thought it'd be fun to have a bit of a port scene going down here, so I want to give ourselves a lot of space for buildings off the side. So I think what we're going to do here is actually just bring some stone directly across this way. We're going to have a stone section here in the front, which is probably going to be raised up, I think, two blocks off of the height of the water. And then we'll have a slab on top of that for some area for just a little bit of a lip so we don't walk over it. And then I was thinking around here, we can probably take this one out this direction, like straight along here as well. So right now, I don't know how long that section is, but over here, we've got 11 blocks long and I want to bring ourselves over. I think we go one, two and three here and we can do that again. And then if we do that one more time, maybe. So that would bring the edge of the dock into right here. And then we take, I think almost like a diagonal section coming out of here too. Cause I don't want to have it just straight boxy lines throughout here. I want to make it a little bit more natural looking. So we change up our angle and send it off this way. We're going to have that diagonal line coming into here and a diagonal going out this way. So that one's coming by three blocks and this one's going to be going by two blocks. Now this is one of those Minecraft projects where you have to absolutely ruin the terrain that you're working with in order to make it look nice, but I think the end result that I have in mind here is going to work really well for us. Now is this the nicest looking thing in the world? No, not at all, but it's a start here. What I wanted to do next was take ourselves so we had at least three blocks going backwards. In this case, I'm going to just kind of bring it back to about here. And I wanted to bring in a bunch of dark oak logs like this. Hopefully we have enough of them. It's going to be rather tight. And I want to strip them down. I feel like this is going to be a really cool color for a docks area inside of the jungle. It's going to give a really cool contrast to it. Definitely taking a lot more dark oak logs than I thought it would, but it's looking really cool so far. I took everything way back there, about four or five blocks in each position. And at the point where we had the different layers coming in, so we started going off that direction and then we start going off here. I changed the angle on it. I think it should look pretty cool, but you can see the strip there versus the non strip. I'm currently not stripping them all the way down. I decided to go throughout the rest of the way without it because I want to make sure the supplies can last because if it doesn't, we could tear it all up and replace it with dark oak logs. It'd be a huge headache, but it is a possibility. Also down here at the back where we have the nether portal going on, I put in a stone line here and I think we'll just add some stairs down to easily get back there. Oh my gosh, look at that, we have a zombie villager. Wait, buddy, get down here, get down here. Come on, come on, I need you. I really, really need you. All the way down this way, come into the safe cave where you won't burn alive. Yep, all the way down here. Follow me, buddy boy, follow me. Yes, 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 yes. Can you pick up this lovely block of dirt? Please pick up the block of dirt. No, we have a name tag though. Could I trap him in here? Over here, over here, yes. No, this way, this way. You want to come around all the way? No, 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 no. You can't get out now, buddy boy. Stay here. I'm getting my name tag. Oh my God, there are so many zombies up here. Where'd you guys all come from? Name tag acquired and I don't have an anvil in here. Oh, we have to be running so far away from the dude. Please don't despawn. Please don't despawn. We're going to name him Frankie because uh, I think that's a good name for our first zombie villager. Just going to run past all of the skeletons that now have appeared. First zombies and now skeletons and hopefully Frankie's back here. Frankie, are you here, buddy? Frankie, I hear you. I hear the little growls. Frankie! 
Oh, I let him out. Oh, I let him out. That's a bad move on my part. Even better, he's trapped in a smaller hole now. Ha ha, hi Frankie. I fought my way through the night, needed to get some more dark oak logs, thankfully found some, but check this out. This is gonna be so cool looking. I think we've gotta figure out the dock region a little bit more, cause it's a wee bit tight over here, but I wanna leave these things in for now because the plan, my friends, is to put buildings here. My thought is that we'll slowly be able to have some buildings that will have staircases on top of them. So say we have a building right here, there'll be a ramp that leads on top of it, and then we'll walk up there then be able to walk up further on top of more buildings, on top of more buildings, and eventually the where, area where the ladder comes down to you is gonna be the top of a roof of whatever building's gonna be out in this area. Probably doesn't sound like the clearest idea there, but I wanna be able to feel like the buildings are placed on top of each other. Things are growing on top of each other, trying to fit it all in as small of a space as possible. My hope is by the end of today's episode, we're at least able to get the staircase figured out for ourselves to be able to get all the way up to our house, because right now it's not very accessible. That should be everything for the logs now, and now time to strip them all down. Whew, this is gonna take a while. And there we have it. This is looking awesome so far. I will say this is only step one of we need to keep cleaning up the stone out here. And I want to put a little bit of a spruce border for a dock, like a small little spruce planks dock or slab dock going all the way across here, like three blocks wide. So we have something to fish off of. And I think we can do another one floating above the little sandy shore that we have over on this side as well. All right, now for some of the decoration bits of having staircases around this place. Ah, we're gonna, nah, it's not even. We'll have a three wide staircase, okay. <laughs> we can just throw a three stone brick right in here and then on this side, we'll break that, we'll break that. And then I'm gonna bring in some stone brick and chiseled stone brick, we'll do boop and a boop. And then right over here, boop and a boop right like that. And then I'm bringing in polished granite as well to be the filler block going all the way around. I think it's gonna look super cool over here. So in this point, for example, we could do like this, that, and then I think I'm gonna have a two wide walkway going down. We can have this. And then the polished granite's just gonna be a lip on top of the stone going all the way around. So over here, for example, we'll have a stone brick coming down here. And then after that, it's time to bring in a bunch of spruce logs and turn them into slabs where we can have them just going right at this layer here, but uh, maybe. I like the height of this layer, but I want them to be able to connect to some stairs or fences or something to look like it's being held up. So maybe we'll do this and add some full blocks below. We got the polished granite all the way around. We've got a few staircases leading ourselves down over here and it's looking really cool. I like this one a lot so far. This one, I still gotta get the spruce slabs in on this whole point here but it's, it's getting there. It's making a lot of progress from what we had originally. The best way we're going to be able to have some support sticking below the wooden platforms is probably bringing in a full block right like this, and then bringing just some spruce fences, taking them all the way down to the base. I don't wanna do anything too big or thick off of this, being full blocks or the logs or anything, because I think it would disrupt the clean face that we have on top. So if we go every three, bring in the full block here by doing the double slab, that leads us just before the end here, so that'll be perfect. And then after that, it's just a game of adding all the spruce fences, going straight down. And there we have it. I think this is a great little dockyard area. We'll get a boat sitting in here eventually, and maybe another little small diagonal tugboat or something over there. But I'm really excited to be able to move forward with this design a little bit more. I added a few little decorations down here around the base, and I really like it. We got a little crab pot over there, barrels, chests, some lanterns on, some little sticks right here being the fences, and I added some more over on this side here too. We'll get a boat built up there later on. What I want to focus on now was what I talked about earlier about how we're going to have the buildings leading up to getting ourselves to the ladder. Instead of just walking the terrain, I wanted to walk up a side of a building or across the roofs. I don't know, something steampunky. We'll see how it works out. But we start out right about here here being the center, I'm thinking we're gonna bring ourselves one off to the side. So we'll have the center being on this point, then bringing in a little bit of cobblestone, we can start to work out a bit of a front face for ourselves, getting rid of that being a placeholder. And then what if we actually, maybe we'll bring it back here. So we can go like this, have one, two, three, four, five, and then bring him down here. This sand and everything in this point is gonna be removed eventually, but for now we'll just work on what we have. 
And then over here, we can maybe bring in a little bit of this kind of stuff here. I'm trying to think of ways we can break it up from the wooden area we have down here with the dark oak going into a building. I don't want to just feel like the same thing is right next to each other. So we do that. And then I started smelting down a bunch of the sandstone that we had into some smooth sandstone right here. And we can maybe work this going all the way up towards the center bit, which in turn gives us a face something like this. And we can place the windows in here. We will actually be doing the interior of this one. I have a great idea for what we can do inside of it. I'm almost thinking a map room. And then if we extend the structure out this way a little bit further, so we can really have a lot more height on it. So we could go here and then bring in a little bit more cobblestone. One, two, three, four, and five. And then this will kind of occupy the end of the dock area. So we can have that section going all the way over here. And if we bring in one, two, and three like this, just make it a touch shorter than what we had with the big guy right over in here. I'm thinking from there, we could bring in maybe some dark oak stairs. I don't have too many of them right now, but having this stretching all the way across, and then out over on this side, we bring in the same idea that we are going for on the front here using the smooth sandstone and the polished andesite. The idea is to have the building almost disappearing into the landscape itself. So it's okay not having the full thing being revealed. We'll figure out how much we want to reveal later on. But for now, let's focus on getting all of the bits in place. So that can come up here and then we go up another two blocks and inching ourselves up here towards the center. And I think we can do something right like this. So that'll be just a touch. Actually, that's the same exact height as that one, or is it? No, I think it should be a block shorter. Yeah, it is, perfect. Now over here for this wall, because I don't like using smooth sandstone everywhere, I was thinking we could bring in a little bit of oak wood action or stripped oak logs in this case. And we can have them right inside of here and then maybe actually move these two over and we can have our doorway being right in there, which I brought some dark oak doors for to again, get some more contrast on here. Having a little bit of a stone brick stair to step ourselves up and then we can use some spruce fences maybe to round it off or to just give it a little bit of a border. Now I definitely need a bunch of dark oak stairs and things. Hopefully 48 should be able to do it for us here. And how do I get up? Well, we can probably walk around this way for now. What I would like to do is a similar frame that we've used beforehand of just having a bunch of the dark oak planks and stairs inching their way up. And then right here, we're actually not gonna be taking it all the way up to the top because I really liked the look that we had created with this little bit of an overhang and the little notch missing right there. So I think we can do that one again. Then of course, copying that over here, we'll be able to have the roofs coming, con like conjoining at this point right here, words are hard. And I think it'll work out really well for us than just getting this thing all the way up here and extending the rest of the dark oak stairs along this way and repeating the same exact style we had right over there, just on this end. Now, I don't know about you all, but I'm really starting to like this one. I think that's coming together well, and while my hearts are getting down there, we should probably eat a piece of steak. But as our next step moving forward, I made a bunch of warped planks over here. Well, I just made them. I gathered a bunch of warped stem for this build, and I think this being the roof color could be really fun. Yeah, I'm a little obsessed with the block after the airship. So if we copy what we had done here and just bring in some warp stem, bring it all the way backwards, it should look really cool and get an awesome color for us. As in these areas, we could just have the planks coming all the way back in here. Then we could do planks going that way, planks, and then we just fill in the stairs. It's gonna be really nice with the way this is all meeting here together because we'll be able to really, really easily bring everything in. So we're just gonna have full blocks right here and then bring that all the way over here. And then we'll just have the stairs on top of those. Now, obviously we're not all the way up to this point quite yet with the ladder. So I was thinking we could step this guy back here and using the same little notch pattern we had done on top of the house up there, it's too tall to be able to see it right now. But basically what we had done was bring everything in like that, connect it up with some spruce fences and add a cow on top. Nope, forget the cow part. And extending the roof down just a touch to give ourselves some more space down here for some windows. This is almost like a steampunk hobbit hole build coming together, who really knows? And if we add two blocks on top of this, I lined it up correctly. Yes, perfect. That's gonna be awesome. This one's a little bit trickier to figure out up here, but I think if we put in the stairs like that being consistent all the way around, we should afterwards be able to just grab in the planks and the remaining stairs and fill them in right along here if I hopefully did this correctly. And of course, I am one stair shy. One stair, that's all it is. Now that we have the roofs in place and everything, it is looking a million times better. But you know what I think we need? Right in this point right there, just coming up directly out of it could be a really cool spot for a chimney. And that plank right there, I think that's gotta go. Coming all the way up here, then I think we can use these polished uh, granite slabs that I had found just to make it a little bit cooler looking. And then from here, we're gonna be using some soul fire campfires. We're using soul fire because they don't give quite as much light as you get off of the regular campfires, but they still give the same amount of smoke. And then we go on top of this guy. Actually, let me get the other one in first so we can avoid burning our feet. 
I staggered them a height layer so that we can add trapdoor on trapdoor. Otherwise, we'd have these weird little gaps in between, but it should work out great this way. Then on top, you might have seen in the inventory already, we're going to be throwing some cauldrons. So it looks like we got a full-on chimney out of that thing, and it should be really, really cool looking. I spent a little bit of time clearing out the inside so we can have a better view, and I like that a lot. Oh my gosh, that actually turned out really well so far. We definitely are going to be doing an interior on this one, so don't worry about that. But what if we brought some of those leaves to add the jungle atmosphere? I just had that one kind of on my hand. One last look from behind, and I need to actually get another lantern hanging off that top little point up there. But everything else is looking fantastic so far. I think what I would love to do is either break it up and get a window in that point so we can have something else to look out of, or add some sort of a sign pointing out this direction to show what this is. And what this is going to be is more or less the harbor master behind this area. So I want to give them a map of the surrounding area. I thought it'd be fun to start mapping out the oceans around us, which we'll get to here soon. But as you can see, I brought in a bunch of jungle slabs as the floor. We got a nice little fireplace over here with a bunch of granite, blackstone, and uh, what is this thingy right here? Iron bars. That's what they're called. Got the walls figured out, and I was going to start building on it. And then I realized there's something very important that I don't have that I love to use in interiors. Bookshelves. We have no leather. So I think we're gonna have to hold off on doing the interior now. I promise it will happen. We will do this probably on stream on Wednesday. I don't know. That sounds like a good thing to do. But before we can get too many of the bookshelf action thing tackled out there, I think villagers are the easiest way to get bookshelves in my opinion. And we got number one of them here ready to go. And are we gonna get lucky with number two tonight? Any zombie villagers wanna pop around here for us to just go trap in a box? Anybody wanna come out here? No, no, okay, well that's fine. But as you can see, I want to start adding some more buildings in here, here, and here. And so it looks like they're inching their way up to where that ladder is. I think that's a really cool point to have at the end of this one. And overall, a good start to more building action that we have going on in this place. Speaking of building, though, I got super busy and just completely distracted on Monday's stream. And I built a lot of stuff. And well, my friends, I got it all in replay mod. So let's go ahead and for a random time lapse here at the end of the taste up. So kick this off in good old fashioned time lapse mode. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. We found a zombie villager. He spun right over there underneath the tree. Hey, buddy, do you want to pick up a block? Do you like blocks? No, am I, am I not going to have a way to save you? No, please pick up a block. Please? Do you not want to pick up? Why don't you want to pick up blocks? No, the only way they won't despawn is if they're holding something or if they have a name tag and I only have the one. Well, we'll have to find another one later. On to the time lapse we go. I started this out up where we have the animal pens of I wanted to build a bit of a tunnel, a staircase, some way to get through to the other side of this mountain. We started out working in here and just turned it into almost like a mine of sorts, which was really cool to work out. We've got a weird little functional thing off to the right hand side that you're going to see popping in there, just a cauldron extracting something out of the earth. Not really sure why. And then after that, I was like, you know what? We have the water fill on the front. Well, the waterfall, not the fill uh, over here. And I want to start building a water wheel around around it and then on top of that I was like nah it's a little it's a little too floaty it's just sticking out there floating anywhere and this is going to be a weird one take this with a second to just open up to it here as we're building I started building a house for the water wheel so I guess a water mill here and I used granite and dirt and coarse dirt inside of it and I think it turned out really well then we have some blackstone as well as some andesite being used for the roof there and overall I like the structure a lot I think it looks really interesting along with everything else we have and I really like that it's a different color than the gray stones everywhere else man the minecraft oceans are really really cool again some fishing in over here we've got fish over to our right here we've got a squid and we've got a turtle and a second ago there was also a dolphin jumping around in here with all of the grass and the kelp and everything oh it's pretty magical i'm just getting a few fish here just getting some stuff and maybe we can get a lucky name tag find or something here honestly i'm just having a lot of fun looking at this point so far, just caught and above for fish, but I am feeling lucky on this one right here. We are going to get a brand new item that we have never seen yet in this world. It's going to be so absolutely fantastic. Any moment now, it's going to be right on the tip of that fishing rod. Yep, it's coming in. Yep, just be patient. Patient, patient, patient. It's going to be. Oh, there's some bubbles coming in. Oh, there we go. Oh, my gosh, we got a saddle. <laughs> wow. I think we willed that thing into existence. And there we go, I added a sign to the Harbor Master's house as well, used a lot of the prismarine shards that we had to make a prismarine brick right there, 
put some boats inside of some item frames and now we are actually out of leather but it looks fantastic. I think this build looks so, so good. And yes, I will show y'all the other thing that we just did in the time lapse here too. This is one of those, just bear with me on this one for a second here, okay, type of Minecraft builds, because I know it's a little weird. I know it's a lot different than what people are used to using so very much texturizing inside of here, but I actually really like the end result that we got out of this one. I thought it turned out really well. You can see the composters on the chimneys up there with the stone brick, the andesite and everything, and man, does it look good? We can actually dip around to the side here and get a closer view. Through our brand new pathway, lean ourselves up here. Got some fences there to stop ourselves from falling over. Extra resources in here. I will take those with me. And actually, I'm going to take one of these chests too. Then the pit of anything down here. There's a cow sticking underneath the cauldron. The cauldron's doing something. I don't really know what. Maybe the water wheel helps to power that thing. And inside of here is just inside of this weird structure that we made. I think it looks really cool from a distance. The color is absolutely awesome. And then the outside up close looks rather dirty. It looks very, very dirty and just grungy, but I like that. And even with a little bit of the grass growing back into it, that being said, I think we can take that vine right there and actually get up on top of that island and then see what it looks like from all the way over there. Walking by a giant scary pit full of skeletons? Yeah, it doesn't scare me at all. No, we're totally fine. Yep, just going to keep going up here. Oh, there's even low. Please don't fall off. Okay, all the way up. We're almost there. We can do this. Got to be safe. Of course, it is one block away. we go all the way up here and just go. We made it. Look at that. Oh, we're on top of the bamboo island. Check that out right there. I really like this building. Once you take a step away from it and just look at it for the red brownie mishup of colors that's over there, instead of looking at it being granite and dirt and coarse dirt, it works really well. I like it a lot. It contrasts a lot with our airship. So I think they go really well together. We tweak the waterfall just ever so slightly. So it's looking awesome here too. But my friends, that is going to have to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Click that like button if you have not already. Subscribe if you are brand new. And with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.